A local man is embarking on a lengthy journey for a cause close to his heart. He's raising awareness about mental health issues. Joining us more to tell us more about it is the man behind Woody Walks, Woody Ellis. Woody, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for having me. And so tell us about this project and how this came to be. Um, well, I've always been a bit of a kind of fly by the seat of my pants kind of guy, always looking for unique things to do. Um, and in about 2016, that led me to start solo traveling the world. Not, uh, and pretty much since then, I've been doing it kind of on and off. Um, and I found that I really, really, really enjoy walking in unfamiliar places. Um, and I always feel a little bad when I leave too, though, because I leave my family and everybody behind. Um, and I've had some mental ailments affect my family and loved ones. And so I was thinking of a way to kind of combine the two things that mean a lot to me. And I figured I would walk to raise awareness for some mental health charities. Okay, so in doing this, how's it been going so far? Well, actually, um, I haven't done any actual fundraising or awareness stuff yet for the mental, mental health charities. I'm actually am leaving on September 2nd. And the reason I chose that day is because that's the one day of the year when people can walk across the Mackinac Bridge. Um, and about 50,000 plus people do it annually. And I figured that would be a great send off to kind of start the journey. So um, currently just kind of training and getting myself prepared for the for the trek. But I haven't embarked yet. OK, this is one of those things that really usually starts a conversation, which is great because it gets more people involved. Is that something that you're hoping to see? And also just in the long run, what do you hope comes from this? Yeah, um, I'm committing to 2000 miles now and kind of like a, a theme of the adventure is going to be interacting with strangers wherever I go and kind of um, trying to limit expenses and kind of manifesting experiences more than anything. And I'm going to be hammock camping along the way. So uh, I've, I'm going to be having conversations with people and maybe exchange something like cook them dinner in exchange for a couple of trees to hang my hammock in for the night. Stuff like that, just to, um, to initiate conversation and we can get to talking about stuff like that. And even as simple as spreading smiles and laughter and conversation and just getting to know people that you wouldn't get to know in an everyday life. Um, and I have specific charities that I've vetted through a site called charitynavigator.org. And what that site does um, is they scrutinize and examine ch charities of all different kinds all over the world and the transparency and the efficiency of them. And I've, I've picked out a handful of them, which I have on my website, um, all related to mental health. So whether it's raising if it, whether it's fundraising or just raising awareness, I'm going to be blasting those organizations out wherever I go. And I have um, I have a financial goal for each of the organizations to start out with. And I kind of basically just want to reach those goals and hit that 2000 mile mark and kind of see what happens from there. Yeah, we wish you well with it. Uh, there's a lot of people who are battling in terms of mental health in a lot of different yeah. ways. Uh, what do you want people to know about those struggles? That you're not alone. The m number one thing, there's the stigma behind mental illness. Um, and that's kind of like a, another big theme of the whole purpose of this journey is to make people aware that you're not alone and that it's not really weird or you shouldn't feel guilty for feeling bad, that it does get better. Um, and pretty much just shining some positivity and silver lining around some of these ailments and, and struggles that we might be facing and just making it normalizing it basically. Yeah. Well, everyone can't walk with you. Are there things that people can do to support you along the way or just to support your effort? Absolutely. There's numerous ways to support. And you mentioned not walking with me. Um, that's actually one thing that I will be encouraging and pretty much begging, especially my friends that I know really well to um, join me for stretches along the way, whether it's a week at a time, a month at a time. And when they're with me, we'll focus on charity of their choice that will obviously be vetted through the charity navigator.org. Um, so that's another way to raise awareness and, and funds for um, charities that I'm not necessarily featuring. But yeah, my site, my website is woodywalks.com and, and there's various ways you can support on there. The number one way being you can you can donate directly to the charities that I have featured on there. 
Um, you can also donate directly to the project to help sustain it because I'm not going to be able to be working while I'm going and there are obviously expenses and stuff that I'm going to have to incur. So that's another way to help. I have um, a couple designs and a t-shirt that will help raise awareness and spread the word. You can purchase the shirt on there and those funds will go towards helping sustain the project. And there's various other things too. You can, I have a link on my website where people can host me. So if they're, if obviously this gets enough publicity and people are seeing it ahead of a time, ahead of time, where before I reach a place, they can offer to host me, potentially offer a place to cook dinner. I, I really like the idea of cooking dinner for people in their homes. I like the, the kind of, um, spontaneity of it. And, um, there's a couple other ways you can help on there, but it's all on the website and it's in a really uh, intuitive layout. So everything's really easy to find and everything is explained really well. Um, so, yeah, that's the various ways people can join or help. All right, Woody. Well, thank you for taking the stand. And again, we wish you well and hope that you're thank safe you. and have a nice, quick journey. Thank you so much. I hope to uh, I hope to follow up with you guys somewhere along the way. And I really appreciate the time.